Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am sharing another card project featuring some brand new products from the Essentials by Ellen November 2022 release. It's full of fabulous holiday products, including this North Pole greeting stamp set. And I'm gonna show you how you can add shading with Copic markers to your stamped images. And it works really good on some of these solid image stamps. So instead of like an outline where you can color that in and you can obviously add shading with that, I'm gonna show you how you can use your Copic markers over a solid stamped image to add a little bit of depth and dimension and shading. And I think it's a really fun technique. So I'm starting out with some of the images from the North Pole greeting stamp set, some of the greenery as well as the Santa hat and the berries. And I'm stamping them onto some smooth white cardstock using the Catherine Pooler Deck the Halls ink and Catherine Pooler Polished ink. Now I'm gonna change that red color a little later on, so stay tuned for that. And I've also grabbed the North Pole outline here and I'm stamping that in the Catherine Pooler Deck the Halls ink as well. And this is a really great, deep, rich Christmas green. Now this stamp set also includes the solid stamp that goes inside. So you could color or watercolor inside of this outline, but I am going to use the solid stamp and line that up on my Misty Stamping Tool, pick it up with the door, and then I'm going to stamp this in the Catherine Pooler Winter Green ink. And this is going to give me a really beautiful light green color. So I'm just stamping that down. And then I am going to add a little shading with some more ink towards the bottom of these words. So I've inked up just the bottom of the stamp with the edge of my stamp pad. Then I softened that edge using a blending brush and stamped that down. So you can see I have a little bit of shading here, but later on I decided I really wanted some more shading. So I lined up the coordinating dies from the North Pole Greetings die set, and I'm die cutting all of these images, and I'm gonna start to put together my card here. Now, I also use the Essentials by Ellen Essential Rectangle die to die cut some pink cardstock. This is actually some cardstock that I made by blending some Tattered Rose Distress Oxide ink over a piece of smooth white cardstock. And I've also die cut a piece of glitter cardstock using that North Pole die. Now here's where I'm grabbing a Copic marker and just adding a little bit of shading towards the bottom of these words, just kind of flicking up from the bottom and intensifying it. Now I can go over this multiple times, but what I did was I just grabbed a marker that was close to the ink color that I already used. You could probably also use a toner gray marker in a really light color to do this technique as well. And I just added that shading to kind of deepen up the color at the bottom of these words. And I'm gonna do it again with the Santa hat and the berries here in just a moment. But for now, I'm grabbing the Snowflakes die set from the Essentials by Ellen line, and I'm die cutting some snowflakes out of some Essentials by Ellen vellum. It is my favorite vellum. And I am going to kind of scatter those behind this greeting. You probably saw me add that stamped North Pole image over the top of the glitter image using some foam adhesive. And now I've grabbed the Santa hat, the berries, and the greenery again, and I'm stamping them this time in Catherine Pooler Clay Mask ink and Catherine Pooler Winter Green ink. Now to adhere my vellum snowflakes, I'm gonna add just the tiniest bit of liquid glue and kind of try to place that liquid glue in areas that will be concealed by this large stamped and die cut greeting that I'm going to place over the top. I'm gonna to add my Santa hat on top of that in over the North Pole, and I'm just going to start adding some of this greenery as well. I absolutely love this color palette. I used it for the entire Essentials by Ellen November 2022 release projects that I created. And by the way, you can see an image of all of the projects that I created over on my blog on yesterday's blog post, so be sure to check that out. And I'm just gonna position some of this greenery and such behind this large die cut greeting and then place that entire thing onto my card front using some more foam adhesive. 
Now for this shading on the Santa hat, I am using a combination of R01, R02, and R05 markers. So I'm using more markers than I did on that North Pole because I started out with a lighter marker and I would recommend doing that. Start light and work up to dark because you can always, um, you can't take ink away, but you can always add more. And so that's what I'm doing here. I found that the R02 was not quite dark enough. So I went in and added a couple areas of R05 to darken it up and just blended it out with the R02 and R01 markers. Now for the Santa hat, I added a little mini pom-pom on the bottom of that Santa hat to add a little texture. And I embellished this card with some dew drops from the Essentials by Ellen Line. These are called the Snowball Dew Drops. They are a little bit frosted and I thought they were a perfect embellishment for this card project. And you can see that that shading on those berries and that Santa hat and on that North Pole greeting really do give it a little bit of life and dimension. And finally, I added that greetings from the North Pole onto the top of the card using just a little sentiment strip and some of that Catherine Pooler Deck the Halls ink. Now, as always, I will have links to the featured products used in this project in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there. Or you can head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Over there, I'll have a complete list of supplies as well as more still shots and more information. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. And if you loved this video, I would love it if you would share it with a friend. Thanks again and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.